Stanford University. The central thing about death is it doesn't occur at one age. So everybody uses life expectancy, which is just an average. Uh, some people die younger than that, some older. And in practice, what health professionals are trying to do is to prevent early death and to make everybody live longer. So we were interested in the distribution. And we think of that as an inequality. We wanted to look at not only how different causes of death have affected our average length of lifespan, but also how it has affected the distribution of different death ages among both in the United States as well as other developed countries. Inequality tells you the distribution. It tells you how many people die younger and by how much, and how many people live past life expectancy and by how much. And the surprise was that it's really saving people from a very early death that contributes a lot to inequality. So for example, you could improve the treatment of heart disease tremendously, but if you don't live to the age where you can benefit from that, then all the medical improvements aren't going to do you any good. Declines in child mortality and maternal mortality are really important in terms of preventing the widening of inequality. Focusing solely on the leading causes of death may be a detriment to um, improving greater equity and the actions to mitigate the killers of younger individuals is important to ensure that the fruits of longer lives will remain accessible to all people. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.